Hi, David Avern, the Visibility Coach here on the campus of Northern Arizona University, Flagstaff, Arizona, with an important lesson on engaging your customers and keeping them engaged. So I'm here with my daughter, Sydney, who starts college in August, but it's six weeks early, and it's college orientation for all the incoming freshmen. Colleges understand that they have a huge challenge in recruiting some of the best kids, but the real challenge begins once the student accepts enrollment. The challenge then, of course, is retention. The dropout rate is devastating for organizations, for colleges and universities across the country. Think about the lifetime value over the four years or longer of a student. It can be upwards of $200,000 or more. So when those kids are not engaged, when they're homesick, when they're having troubles academically, when they're having troubles with their roommates, when they're, when they're, they're struggling with making friends and, and being away from their dog or their siblings, and those students who drop out, who don't feel connected, it's, it's an amazing amount of lost revenue for colleges and universities. Kids aren't starting as juniors and seniors. So every student that they retain is significant revenue that helps fund the mission of the organization. The lesson, of course, is clear for your business as well. It costs a lot more money to attract a new customer than to keep one that you have. And I would suggest we have to spend just as much time and effort and, and energy on keeping those customers happy. Why did they come to you in the first place? Why do they stay? Why do they leave? What is it that makes them feel no longer appreciated? Sometimes we spend a lot of time and effort on customer acquisition. I would submit you have to spend just as much time on retention as well. Love up your customers and don't stop loving them up. That ongoing revenue can fuel your business. Having a great time here at NAU Go Lumberjacks. David Aaron, the visibility coach, reminding you, it's not who you know, it's who knows you.